An offshore immigration detention was also in the spotlight this week and it seems like a change of government hasn't really seen much of a change of policy with the government extending the contracts for the immigration detention centre in the island of Nauru and failing to abolish offshore processing and temporary protection visas. Now, during the election campaign in 2022, Anthony Albanese did say that it was possible to be strong on borders without being weak on humanity. And that's something that was repeated by the Home Affairs Minister, Claire O'Neill, this week. Now, the Labor government can't just say that it's going to humanise the immigration detention system, but then do exactly the same as the previous government. And during the week, the Iranian journalist, Beruz Buchani, and he was in Australian immigration detention for six years, first of all on Christmas Island and then transferred to Manus Island under the ridiculous Pacific Solution Plan set up by the Labor government at the time in 2013 until he was granted residency in New Zealand in 2020. And once again, New Zealand provides an example of how to be strong on borders without being weak on humanity. And during the time he was in Australian immigration detention, the Home Affairs Minister at the time Peter Dutton, he said that Buchani would never set foot in Australia. So he must have been a little bit surprised when Buchani was actually in Parliament House during the week to address a group of federal MPs and journalists. And Buchani has called for a Royal Commission into the treatment of asylum seekers and detention centres in Australia. And I think this has been a hopeless and terrible era in Australian politics for all of these issues. Now, we've got that situation where the Coalition always seeks an opportunity in human misery and asylum seekers. And It's been an issue that they've exploited for political gain ever since the late 1990s and Labor just wants the issue to go away and disappear. So it probably won't be setting up a Royal Commission into immigration detention centres, even though Royal Commissions seem to be the flavour of the month at the moment. So it's a political issue that should be dealt with in a humanitarian way. But for as long as we've got this schism between the two major parties, one side wanting to exploit the issue and the other side lacking the courage to do something about it, it looks like it's an issue that's here to stay for the long term. I'm appalled at the whole contract renewal. They had the opportunity to restart. And I've seen all kinds of justifications and and the staunch Labor supporters are going to come in and tell me that I'm absolutely wrong and I shouldn't at all criticise Labor because they're much better than the Coalition. In many cases, they are much better than the coalition. But in this case, I'm struggling to see what they're doing except extending a terrible thing. Now, I know that it's not simple, that we can't just let everybody in, as it were, even though we signed an agreement back in 1948 that we would let everybody in. And one of the underlying themes is that it's all right if it's Europeans, but if it's from Africa or Asia or the Middle East or presumably South America, we're not as interested in taking refugees. Now, there's a humanitarian crisis in Turkey and uh, Syria as we speak. But the point is, is that we have a moral obligation as a citizen of the world to look after refugees and not treat them like dirt. And I know that it's a discouragement and a disincentive to come to Australia. But you only come to Australia when everywhere else is full because we're at the end of the world for most of it. And if we're not at the end of the world, shouldn't we be helping our neighbours? There's a better solution, if only because there has to be a better solution. But putting them onto essentially concentration camps out in the middle of nowhere helps nobody, least of all them and then second least of all us. So I hope that Labor can work something out and get the contractors out of this awful contract and set things up properly.